So uh, we have a question uh, coming from Lord Mac Kent. Um, he says, "Here's okay. Here's a question for the lads. Here in the UK at the moment, it's very wet. What's the best way to waterproof the kilt? It's wool, not you. Just don't. Yeah. It's pretty simple. Yeah. I mean, do you see sheep running around with Teflon spray on them? No. Um, honestly, don't worry about it. The wool is naturally kind of a you know, the lanolin, the, the oils and the you know whatever in lanolin mm. or in in wool lanolin." Mm. <clears throat> will actually repel water a bit. It doesn't absorb water like cotton will or something like that. So I wouldn't worry about it. It kind of sheds water naturally. And if it gets a little bit wet, it gets wet. And no amount of waterproofing Teflon coating is going to stop it really. Yeah. I'd well, be, I'd be if looking... you dip it in a vat of Teflon, maybe. Well, I just wouldn't but... want to do that to the to the fabric anyway, Yeah, frankly. I mean, I think less chemicals is better. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Maybe you're dealing with a, a particularly damp situation and you just feel like the kilt is wet hanging on your body somehow. Um, but I, yeah, I don't think you really waterproof wool, nope. really. Um, think about your overlayers if it's really coming down. Um, or think about uh, a warmth layer under the kilt if you're feeling cold because of a damp cold. But the kilt itself should probably just be left. Yeah, I'd say if, it's, if you're worried because it's damp or it's raining or whatever then that means you're probably outside, but it's not raining inside, or else you have bigger issues. Um, in that case, get a rain cape. Get something, an Inverness cape, yeah. like bagpipers wear, yeah. that, that actually is water repellent. It's a rain cape, or a rain jacket, effectively. Mm -hmm. It's just extra long to cover the kilt, um, and it's got a lot of range of motion in the arms. Think of like what Sherlock Holmes wore kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that would be a more appropriate way to deal with wet conditions, you know, you know, throw on a pair of wellies, you know, conditions permitting or, or not permitting conditions dictating. Yeah. I wouldn't wear wellies, wellies to the office necessarily. They're not, but. they're not high fashion. That's you wouldn't. Well, yeah. you never know. Tie, no, tie, your, tie your wellie laces all the way up. There's, have you ever seen the wellies that are painted to look yes. like gillies? Yes. Oh Those my are, gosh. They're, I'll, I'll put the picture up. They're but, uh, spectacularly horrible. Wow. They're really horrible. I love it. I love how horrible they are. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So hopefully that. that helps, but yeah, there's not much. You don't actually add chemicals to kilt ever. Nope. Yeah. You can add Teflon coating, but the mills generally do that. Um, yeah, and it's it's wool. Yeah. And I'd be adding things to a kilt. Let me let me go a step further. If you say forget those guys, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. I'm going to do it anyway. Great. Go ahead. What I would all, what I would caution is use the under apron first or use the inside of the under apron as a test as a test okay yeah okay. you don't want to monkey up a 500 dollars kilt with spray stuff that you use to go camping if it's going to affect the color of the kilt or if it's going to screw something up so use the under apron as a test mm -hmm. i agree done mm -hmm.